Razabani for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. A very serious looking. Oh, he's smiling now. Mr. Richard Riapo. Rich, been a minute. Listen, this guy is coming to try to take everything that I work for. You know, sometimes when I, when I think about it, I get emotional. You know, I get emotional because it's been a hard road to get here. Very difficult. That's why it's hard for me to lose. I'm going to smoke this guy. Trust me. And everybody's going to witness greatness on Saturday night. I believe... Anyway, talk is cheap. Just watch. Which over the last couple of years we've done a number of interviews, especially on Zoom, and there was it was almost a stop-start career over the last couple of years, but how kind of grateful are you now, especially the last year now? You've had a nice run, and the run looks like it's going to keep on going for a little while now. Listen, it's all about momentum in this game. If you don't have no momentum, it's hard. It's hard. Sometimes you, you doubt yourself, you start to believe, you start to think, I performed really well last time, but if I come back into this game, would that would I perform the same or is was that just merely a fluke that's why it's important to stay active but you need to be with the right people to make sure they can they can make that happen and I'm with the right people right now so I'm, I'm happy I'm very diff I'm very happy we're staying active four fights in nine months and we're gonna keep that we're gonna keep it going is that why after after each fight you kind of go and have a maybe a week off sometime not even that and you're straight back in the gym. And we're not talking about a gym on your doorstep. We're talking about a gym over 100 miles away and your total dedication to, to stay in the gym, even without having a fight date. I, I go to the gym. Listen, after my fights, I'm back in the gym on Monday. You always see it. You check my social medias, my social media platforms. I, I'm back in the gym. I might do a post. We're working on new things. We want to improve. There's, there's a lot to learn in this game. You know, I'm only 14 and 0, soon to be 15 and 0. Still you know, early in my career, you know. So there's, a, there's still a lot of work that we need to do, a lot of things that we need to work on so we can make sure we're, we're the finish. I can reach my full potential. Bear in mind, I've, I've come through a lot of tough fights with basically no, you know, no boxing IQ or very little, you know. So there's a lot of things that I have to go back and go back to the drawing board and learn because I came into this game so late. I didn't have the same experience that everybody else, else had. But I, I was best with good genetics. So, um, yeah, we're, we're doing overtime now. We're doing overtime and we're doing everything that we need to do to feel, fulfill my potential. And my potential is scary, man. Trust me, we, we haven't tapped into it yet. And that's why I think that's probably why people are really interested in me as well at the same time. Because they know there's certain things that I don't do right and certain things that I do do right. But if I do those things that I don't do right right, then I should clean these guys. That's the truth. I should just clean these guys up. But time will tell. We're working. You spoke at the press conference about the vibe in the gym with Fraser Clark, with Anti Joshua, uh, the comedian Angel Fernandez, who's in your corner as well. Uh, Robert Garcia is now in the campus. So what's the vibe like? Talk to me. Yeah, the vibe is good. Everybody's hungry. Everybody wants to make statements. Everybody wants to make a name for themselves. You know, everybody's hungry, man. And I feel. When you get the coaches as well putting their energy into it, like they, they want to prove something. Maybe they've, they've seen some comments online and, and they don't like the, the, the people dissing them. And they're like, okay, cool, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove you wrong. And that's bring more energy into the camp. That's made the coaches do more studying and, uh, more, and putting more effort into our preparations and, and just teaching us new things. So it's, it's really good, the, the energy is high. Obviously, I know you've been working with Angel Finance, but also to have someone like Robert Garcia with his experience, who's had multi-world champions across multi-divisions, that must be nice as well for you. Yeah, that's nice, and um, I'm happy to, to say he's going to be in my corner for Saturday night. He's going to um, be um, working with Angel Fernandez. I'm getting the nod here to turn this down, but I'm, not, I'm refusing your team to say, let this, let this interview uh, roll on. Um, a win on Saturday. Where does that propel you to? I spoke to a few people today. I said, look, should, is, should Richard jump into a world title if he wins? Or does he go into a world title pending his performance? How do you feel? Yeah, that's a good idea. Depend, you, can, you can rate me on my performance and go for it. But I'm a type of person, if I, if I have an opportunity put in front of me, I'll, I'll take it. You know? if, it's a good, if it makes a lot of sense, then of course I'll take it. I want one of those world titles. Bad. Obviously, Turchi, he lost to Tom McCarthy, obviously someone you've beaten as well. Do you look much into that or do you like no, 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 no. 
fi fights make you know it, styles, is it styles make fights that I don't look into that at all. You know, you can you can maybe pick up a few things, but I don't look into that, man. I don't look into that. Which I know, obviously, a part of the community. You've done a lot of work with schools, with youth. Knife crimes quite high in London as well. Where we live in a society where people think that they can say things and get away with it. I just want to get your thoughts. Obviously, a video went around with Anthony Joshua talking to some students. <laughs> What happened? What did they say for him to kind of go into... Did he actually go into the room, into the apartment? What happened? Listen, look, the way I see it is these bullies on social media, these bullies on in, in real life or whatever, when they get, get stuck on them, they melt. They don't have the courage they have when they're typing behind the keyboards. And, and that's the way I just see that situation. That's why I keep on laughing because... They <laughs> It's the funniest thing. It's the what, funniest. Did they, what did they say? Pardon? What did they say? I don't even know. I didn't even look into it. Like, I just saw, like, I came and I saw it. Then I came to the dinner and I see um, Fem there and I was like, yo, like, what happened? And then he's like, bro, this me, that cracks me up, bro. We were all laughing. Everybody was just laughing, but, you know, I think it needed to happen, man, one day, man. You can't be bullying people. All, like, people take these comments, like, to heart, you know, honestly. Like, people are committing suicide. That's the truth. And, um, you know, if that's affecting you, anybody watching this, you know, turn off your comments now. There's there's different tools that you can use on different platforms like Twitter, for example, to mute words and stuff. Do it. Protect your mind. Protect your mind. Richard, I know uh, you got to go now, uh, fueled up and stuff. But listen, you're here the rest of the week, so you will definitely catch up over Friday and Saturday as well. Uh, go chill, relax. Yeah, best of luck on Saturday. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, man. Richard Riappo, IFL TV, thank you very much. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.